Hey everybody, Eddie Gunks here. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, studio shutters. Uh, they're made by Wallensack. Uh, this is a number three. Uh, the okay, I have removed the front glass elements to make seeing this without the glare of the front element. So the front's missing here so you can see. This studio shutter, the aperture turns on the outside ring here. They never are really perfectly round unless you open them all the way up. That's because of the shape of the shutter. The shape of the aperture leaves, I'm sorry. So here you are stopping it down. To operate the shutter, there's a little lever here that says opened and closed. Um, what you have to do, you have to screw in. The long throw cables are better. Okay, this way here, nothing happens. What you have to do is you set the aperture you want to be at. Okay, so we'll set it on, we'll set it to about here. You flip the lever to closed, and then when you activate the button, you time it, and that's how it works. So we all see it. Very simple. Many, many times, the shutter does not work as it's supposed to. A lot of times, this piece here is missing. I don't know why people take them off, but they're missing. So, but that's the problem with the studio shutters. Uh, they don't work a lot of times. This one works very well. It is, the aperture is part of the shutter. Uh, many times, the aperture does work and the shutter does not. Here's a shutter tester. We'll try it wide open. About a sixth of a second. Seems wide open and stopped down. The shutter works about the same speeds.